Cemeteries filled with Russian soldiers killed in the war with Ukraine are rapidly growing across Russia. A new video has appeared online showing an eyewitness taking a picture of the size of a military burial site on a mobile phone. Social media users note that this is an unprecedented phenomenon as nothing like this has happened during Afghanistan or the Chechen wars. The published footage shows a huge burial site easily identified as military by the flags of Russia and Russian airborne and marine units. According to conservative estimates by Western media, the number of Russians killed in the war has already reached several hundred thousand. Cemeteries of those killed in the northeastern military district continue to grow rapidly throughout Russia, a completely unprecedented phenomenon. The senseless and criminal war will leave behind a noticeable trace in the form of hundreds of thousands of graves throughout the country. Putin will die and people will wander among these graves and ask themselves, why was all this done? Why were so many people exterminated? And the only answer will be the gloomy silence of the cemetery. Comments on the footage, the Russian Telegram channel, Seatel Vetra. Through open source research, Media Zona, a Russian independent media outlet, together with BBC Russia, confirmed the names of 72,899 Russian soldiers who had been killed since the beginning of Russia's full scale invasion. Since Media Zona's last update in late September, the names of 1,842 Russian soldiers have been added to the list of casualties. The journalists note that the actual figures are likely significantly higher as their verified information comes from public sources such as obituaries, posts by relatives, regional media reports and statements from local authorities. According to the journalist, Russian soldiers killed in action in 2024 tend to be increasingly older in age as the average age for volunteer recruits continues to soar. The plurality of volunteer recruits killed in the war fall most prominently between the ages of 48 and 50 years old. Since Russia began its all-out war against Ukraine, over 4,100 officers have been killed in combat in Ukraine. The analysts also note that at least 13,438 Russian inmates have been killed on Ukraine's Eastern Front. According to Media Zona's estimates, a majority of these killed in action come from Rostov, Sverdlovsk, Bashkiria and Chelyabinsk oblasts, as well as the Buryatia Republic. A surge of recruitment by the Kremlin in the predominantly Muslim regions of Bashkortostan and Tatarstan have also showed an increase in those killed in action and in recent months. The last few months amid the renewed Kharkiv offensive as well as Ukraine's incursion into Kursk Oblast, Russian forces have experienced some of its heaviest losses since the start of the full-scale war. Ukraine, although that number is likely significantly higher in the months since the report's release. As of October the 12th, 2024, the Ukrainian military estimates Russian combat losses at 667,630 troops, which likely includes Russian military personnel that have been killed, injured, captured and missing in action. Russia is suffering enormous losses of personnel in the hottest direction in the Donetsk region. Hospitals overflow with Russian wounded soldiers, according to the Atesh Partisan movement. An agent from the 30th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade reported catastrophic losses for the aggressor in the Pokrovsk direction. Every day, brigades set new records. In just one day, up to 50 individuals in their brigade are wounded or killed. Hospitals and medical facilities are overwhelmed forcing the urgent discharge of civilians to make room for injured invaders. This information was confirmed by an agent among the medical staff of one of the hospitals in the temporarily occupied Makiivka. According to him, the occupation authorities continue to ignore the needs of civilians to save their soldiers. Ukrainians are being evicted from hospitals to admit Russian soldiers, the report states. Moscow's losses both in equipment and personnel only continue to grow as it advanced in the western Donetsk region, an onslaught against Ukraine's defended positions that contributed to the heavy toll in September. In early October, 
two key Ukrainian frontline towns, Volodar and Rabdivka, fell to Russia during its advance towards Pokrovsk. Despite the heavy equipment losses, Russian forces have yet to make concrete tactical gains in the region. Russian forces have also lost rockets, anti-aircraft systems and drones in its offensive along the Eastern Front. This is a breakdown of the heavy losses that could jeopardize Russia's ability to expand its battlefield gains. Ukrainian military expert Lieutenant General Ihor Romanenko says that the primary target of the Russian aggressor's army remains Pokrovsk in Donetsk region. The occupiers are trying to encircle the city. According to him, the invaders have not stopped after capturing Volodar. They are trying to advance to the second defensive line of the armed forces of Ukraine, located 8 kilometers to the north. On the other side, they are moving north to direct forces towards Kurakov and then Pokrovsk. So, if capturing Pokrovsk from the front has not been successful, they will organize a slow encirclement from the south and north. Essentially, they are aiming for an operational encirclement. In popular terms, this is called a pocket, Romanenko said. The military expert noted that a few weeks ago, defense forces deployed three brigades, which allowed them to stop and slow the occupiers' advance on Pokrovsk. Pokrovsk, a once vibrant city of 80,000 people, is the object of a Russian encircling move that began in July and is creeping within miles of the city as every day passes. The city has served as a key logistics and transportation hub for Ukrainian military operations in eastern Ukraine and is the gateway to conquering the rest of Donetsk Oblast and potentially onto even bigger prizes such as Dnipro, Ukraine's fourth largest city before the war.